welcome back students today we are going to see input and output in java program the use of the program is to get the output isn't it so if we want to get output then we have to give some input and then it processes and gives us output the input which we give from maybe from the keyboard or maybe taken from the file again the output may be on the screen or else may be stored in the file this input and output operations are done in java using the concept of streams a stream is a sequence of data input and output functions of java are enabled by using the class called system so source of input is called an input stream and when it flows to a destination it is called output stream java.io package contains all the classes required for input and output operations in java program so when we are taking input we will import the package called java.io when we say stream we can just imagine a channel by which sequence of data flows this data flow may be from any input source the source of input data is called input stream and the stream of output is called output stream when data flows out then it is referred as output stream there are many streams commonly we use these three streams that is system.in system.out and system.error system.in connects to the standard input device like keyboard and system.out and system.error are connected to the monitor which is the standard output device in this video we will see system.in and system.out about the error that is called exception handling we will see in our next video this io stream is categorized into two categories one is with zeros and ones the other one is with characters so zeros and ones are called byte oriented and other one is called character oriented here the byte oriented accepts byte by byte and known as data input stream and data output stream this byte oriented is not suitable for text files or strings this character oriented stream in this stream a character encoding scheme is used inputs are read by character by character so this character oriented streams are referred as readers and writers the summary of byte oriented and character oriented is here first we are going to learn character oriented stream in character oriented stream two main classes are involved that is input stream reader and buffered reader input stream reader class accepts a stream of characters from the standard input device for that we have to create a object for it so we suppose to write input stream reader then one space the name of the object that is an identifier here i have given object isr is equal to a new is a keyword and then space input stream reader of system dot in then we terminate this after this we have to create object for even buffer reader this is used to store the input in a temporary memory that is in the ram this will increase the speed of the program for that we have to write buffered reader 
space object dr that is the object name which I have given for this buffered reader class is equal to new buffered reader of so here the reference from the input stream reader so that is the name of the object of input stream reader is given as argument for buffer reader so this object isr is given inside the bracket of buffered reader now we have to write the coding to take the input from the keyboard we write string variable name then equal to the object name which we used for buffered reader we give there and then dot read line of here note down l is capital and then we should not forget to prompt the user to give the input so we will give system dot out dot print line of so any sentence here to prompt the user let us create a program to take some input of string and also numerical values so first of all we have to import the java dot io class for that we write import java dot io dot star dot star means it indicates all the classes available inside io package class import io so we write public static void name of string of arguments when we use java.io we supposed to use throws io exception this is for error handling i will explain about this in my next video tutorial let me create some variable string phone model then int price to take input first create object for input stream reader so input stream reader space I give ISR as object name is equal to new input stream reader of system dot in then we terminate this the next we have to create object for buffered reader so buffered reader br is equal to new buffered reader of isr so here this isr is referred from the object of input stream reader then we are prompting the user so we will write system dot out dot print line of what do you see model of your phone so when I take a string one so name of the variable ph underscore m is equal to br dot read line of now this will read the string input to take the integer input we will use wrapper class which we already learnt in the previous session now I give the prompt what is the price of your 
mobile. So now price is the integer variable. So we use wrapper class integer dot parse int of now the object which we used br dot read line of then one more bracket so we terminate this we already learned the wrapper classes so according to that wrapper class we will give here if double means we will give double and then here also we will give double in case of long we will give long dot parse long of and then the object name dot read line of let us print the input what we got now so system dot out dot print line of you own plus phone model is the variable which you have given plus half price plus price so So you, it will print. Oh, sorry, it will print. You own the phone model, which is given by you. Half price, the price you have given. Compile this. Let us run this. What is the model of your phone? iPhone eight. What is the price of your mobile? Seventy-four thousand. So, you got the output here. Students, I hope it is very clear how to use java.io package and take input from the user. Thank you students.